And now a wrap up from the latest city council meeting. Council voted to keep a cap on the limit of tow companies the Naperville Police Department is allowed to use. They were set to eliminate the cap and allow all area companies to apply for a license. But after testimonies from numerous towing companies currently in use, council members changed their mind. We have heard from the police department that they could come up with no good reason why the number of licenses should be limited. What we have not heard from the police department is, what is a good reason to eliminate a number that has worked, proven by nine years of successful past practice? They did, however, raise the cap from 11 to 13, allowing two more companies to be used. This is a two-year contract and will go into effect on January 1st, 2014. A new event coming to town wasn't a knockout with council members, causing organizers to pull out of the fight. American Predator Fighting Championship, owned by UFC legend Keith Hackney, wanted to bring an amateur mixed martial arts or MMA fight to players indoor sports on October 19th. They recently appeared before council to borrow parking spaces. Their request was not only denied, but the entire event was brought into question. This isn't a use I want to see in this town. I don't think it's an image we want. We decided not to have tattoo parlors. We decided not to have video gambling. I ranked this right up there. I don't think it's an image Naperville needs. Following the meeting, APFC promoter Rich Seldel told NCTV they're pulling out of the cage and will combine the Naperville fight with their October 5th event in McCook, Illinois. Council is considering putting a ban on MMA fights throughout the city. And finally, a collective bargaining agreement between the city of Naperville and IAFF Local 4302 was approved. The new contract will allow for a 6% increase over the next three years. It also includes education pay, experience pay, and retirement incentives.